Look at this man. He's all set up. He's ready to play Fortnite. He's got his keyboard. He's got his mouse. Nice gamer stuff going on. And you see this chair right here it says Fortnite on it. You know why? Because if he's playing Fortnite, if he's going around shooting people, he wants a gaming chair. He doesn't want a racing chair. I love Fortnite. So, I'm not really going to spend much time on the assembly process. It is pretty straightforward. Got this big old box right here. We cut it open and inside are some big chunks of parts and some screws and an Allen wrench. And that's pretty much it. Putting together the base is about as simple as you would think it is. You just get some wheels and you pop them into the holes. And then it holds itself up. Then you get the little rod piston thing stick it right in there and then we're ready to put the actual base onto it so for getting the arms on i would absolutely recommend having two people do this this was such a pain for me to get the arms and the back on but once you have it you're good and that's really it so i know i literally just assembled the other chair but here's my old chair i wanted to use it as a reference point and kind of compare the things that i like and dislike about this chair and the uh, the Fortnite chair. But um, I recorded that other part maybe a week ago, so I feel like I actually have a pretty good feel for both of the chairs now. The thing is, these are both very close to the same price, and for this, this is more like an office chair. I mean, it looks still kind of gamery, which may be a plus or a minus. Um, but it has a lot more features. Okay, you have the adjustable headrest, which is super nice. This is absolutely the biggest thing though. I did not realize that um, the back adjustment was such a big deal for me, but it is. It's honestly probably the most important thing about a chair, I think, because the, the, for me personally, the way I like to posture is I kind of like to sit up a little bit. Now, I absolutely know nothing about posture and I, um, do not want to be held accountable for any of your health issues, but <laughs> for me personally, that's what really uh, works for me is kind of sitting up and adjusting that back. Whereas on the other chair, I can't, which I'll show you. So for this chair, the back screws into not the base, but into the arms, which see this, this right here, it's literally only held up by that and that. Okay, it goes in through there and then that's attached to the base. And then it just has the little height adjust down there. Now it does have this little knob, which are kind of tilted a little bit, but it's nowhere near the control that I like to have. Um, so really the plus with this chair is, looks pretty nice. Um, it's very comfortable. The padding's really nice. I don't know how long it'll last. Uh, Cause it kind of like, I don't know, it's almost like what if you buy a, a pair of decent shoes and they have like pretty nice padding, but you can kind of just tell that if you're really rough on it, it's probably gonna not last too long. I don't know. I mean, I, it's not really fair for me to like <laughs> go, oh, you know, it probably won't last long because I have absolutely no idea, but I'm just trying to be very gentle with it when I use it, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. I'm intentionally trying not to break it. Whereas if, it seemed like it was built out of something different. Maybe I'd be a little more rough on it, I guess, but um, it's definitely really comfortable. Honestly, I use this more like a rocking chair than anything else. Cause it just kind of pivots. So overall, I think for me personally, I still do prefer my old chair on the right. Um, this chair is definitely nice, but it's more, I mean, I guess it, because it's a gaming chair, it is something I would see more for if I only played games, like if I played games in my bedroom and didn't play at a desk. Like, like this isn't just a gaming chair for me. This is like an office chair. Like if I need to sit and edit and record for like eight hours or something, like for an extended period of time, I'd use that and not really this, even though depending on how my, I, I feel like I like the posture more for this, but my posture is okay in this because I kind of 
with the way that I lean, I use these more, like the actual like wrist rest, like arm rest kind of thing. Whereas these are not anywhere near as nice. I don't like them quite as much. So I think the ideal scenario for me personally is the, the chair on the left would be more of, I play for a few hours and this is more like office kind of thing. So for me, using this primarily for desk setup, I am going to probably swap back to my old chair, but both of them are definitely really good, depending on your use case, depending on if you want this really nice looking chair. It is very comfortable as well, not that this one isn't. You know, it just, I, I don't think there's a, a perfect answer for everyone. They both seem really good. Now, if this thing falls apart, I'll let you know, and then um, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But for now, it's pretty good.